So this is the classic way to loop when you are wanting to loop from zero to the top of the array. Remember that the range function will grab, will create a list, let's call it um, positions, because it will create a list of positions, the range. Like when you use the right function, it doesn't have to be that same range, any range. When you say, like, for example, from 0 to 15, and then you print it, print list of positions, it will, if I comment the other part and I run it, you'll see that it will print, let me show you, yeah, it will print a list with from 0 to 14, that is basically 15 because it's 0, so it doesn't start at 1. If it starts at 1, it will be from 1 to 15, but it starts at 0, so it's from 0 to 14 because it's 15 items starting from 0, okay? So that's a normal range, and you can use that, that particular list, you can use it to loop, because when you loop like that, when you say, I want to generate a list from 0, to the size of this list minus one, so as many items minus one, so it will be towards the end of the list. So we're saying here I want to start from i, the, I'm sorry, from zero to the entire length of the list. Remember that the last one doesn't get included, like what happened here that 15 was not included. So the last one, uh, the length, if the length is 20, it will be until 19 because it starts at zero. So if we want to reverse loop it, instead of starting from 0, we want to start from length minus 1. From length minus 1. And then we want to end at 0. And then we want to decrease one by one. Because the range function, you can see it here in the documentation. The range function will go from start to stop. And this is the step. Normally, by default, if you don't put a step, it will be 1, so we will be increasing 1 by 1. But we do want to have the third parameter in the range, because it will accept how it's going to be the increment or decrement every time that it loops. And we want to decrement by 1, so it will, it will be from the top to the bottom. Let's see it from here. So it's 12, and it stops at 5. And we are supposed to include one more, so let's put here minus 1. Because that's the end, right? From start, stop. And then we run again, and now it includes the 